Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. And today we're gonna to talk about how to improve your exhaust sound without breaking the bank. So what we're talking about is our patented Thunder Torque exhaust inserts and the way that they'll deepen or improve the tone of your exhaust, no matter what the exhaust, you know, there's a lot of options out there for exhaust. Vance and Hines, Reinhardt, you know, Rush. There's a lot of options out there for- Cam, don't forget Cam. Cam. performance, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the best, yeah. And so whether it be full exhaust, just slip on straight pipes, drag pipes, sometimes they can be a little too obnoxious. And we know this sound is subjective. What, this guy might think is good, this might, the guy might not think so. And they're very expensive. Right, and it's very expensive. And a lot of times it's just a try and see thing. And you know, if you settle for these, Whatever they sound like, you're not gonna go out and buy another set just to replace them with, or presumably so, you know, something like that wouldn't be in your budget. So how can you improve the sound from what you have? Because buying a whole new exhaust system isn't an option for a lot of people, myself included. Something I've done on quite a few bikes is I've just removed the baffles yeah. from the exhaust and put Thunder Torque inserts in there. Right. So by removing the baffles, you get rid of all the restriction. You also, which is heating up the engine and reducing power. Yeah. And, uh, and then it's also making it much quieter. So by doing that, by removing the baffle, I've gotten rid of the restriction, I've gotten it louder, but it sounds sort of blubbery. Yeah. And you lose power when you remove that because of the reversion. We have a whole video about that that we'll put up in the corner. So the simple fix is you put the Thunder Torque insert in. Right. You get when you do this, you get virtually the same decibel level, you know, albeit a little lower, not anything notable. But what you get is a much deeper tone, more bass, less popping, less high pitch, just that uh, obnoxious sound that your neighbors don't like. And we'll put the uh, the DB uh, uh, images of the DB uh, without the Thunder Torque inserts, and then with the Thunder Torque inserts up on the screen right here. So anyway, the other day, um, I had a guy who uh, I was messaging with back and forth, and he has a, a 2023 lowrider, so an M8 soft tail, mm -hmm. and um, he, wants to he wants to remove his baffles. He's heard that there's a tenny sound yeah. if you just remove the baffles. Which is true. And, uh, but he wants it louder but he doesn't want that tinny sound. So he wanted to get some Thunder Torque inserts. So his, with his baffles removed, his, the opening is 3.4 inches. So the right Thunder Torque insert for that is a 258. Yeah. That'll go in there, that'll prevent the reversion. He's gonna get an increase in power and a much lower tone. Now he was asking, you know, is it gonna reduce the decibels too much if I want a different tone? The TTIs are made so that you can rotate them. And so you can, once you install them, 90% of the time with them flat, with the cupped in facing the end and the, with the stud part that's welded onto the wavy TTI facing the engine, that's what's the best position 90% of the time. But if you wanted to get a little bit louder, a little bit more bite to it, mm -hmm. you can rotate that so instead of being flat, it's a little bit of an angle. Right, covering less surface area. Right, and so you can rotate it around to get it to the sound that you want. Yeah. Now remembering when you rotate it around to get it to the sound you want, you may be losing a little bit of power depending on how much you rotate it. You're gonna gain power over having the baffles in there right. with the T yeah, yeah, yeah. TTIs even if they're rotated, but the best power is going to be with them flat like that. Right, but myself personally, I run mine at a 45, half open, half closed, sort of the, the best, best of both worlds, sort mm -hmm. of a happy medium. They're still effective, but I still get the sound I want. Right. So, and it just has a little bit more of a bite. A little more bar to it, right, right. Not as much as if I didn't have the insert in there at all, because I'm running true dual uh, Vance and Hines Big Shots. So it's basically drag pipes. No crossover? No, well they do have a crossover, but okay. it's just the, uh, I think that's just to avoid the crosstalk. But yeah, so it's the Vance and Hines, the short pipes. 
And without baffles, without TTIs, they pop, they crackle, they're, they're obnoxiously loud, I'd say. The TTIs really tame that. So the sound is still there, but the way it projects that sound, it's not as abrasive to the rider and passenger, albeit the people riding behind you still gonna hear it. But your neighbors are gonna prefer that deeper, lower tone. You know, there, there's a difference between high pitched and loud and just loud and low tone low throaty bass note which a lot of people prefer you know think yeah. of like Flowmaster 40 series on a small black Chevrolet it gives a low deep rumble and that's similar to what the TTIs give you and you know here's the thing also there's no in between it's either stock or it's aftermarket loud there is no no medium there so a lot of times what people will do is they'll keep their baffles in with their aftermarket exhaust they'll add the TTIs and that kind of tames it a little because it, bring, because it br brings it back down to earth not so obnoxiously loud. And that's exactly what his next question yeah. was, was what if, what if taking the baffles out of my stock exhaust and putting the TTIs in, what if it's too loud for me? Can I put baffles or do something with the stock exhaust? We have never done that, but there are baffles out there that you can with some work put into yeah. the stock exhaust. Right. Because keep in mind, the factory baffles are welded in, or sometimes yeah. on some soft tone models we have a rivet in there, but it's irreversible. If you pull those baffles out, that baffle's you, probably not going back going, in. Yeah, but you might be able to put another one back in. Yeah. We've not played around with that. Now, what did happen with me is I had the same exhaust that I've been running, which is the factory exhaust, no baffles, TTIs. I've been running it for about, that same exhaust for the last yeah. 120, 130,000 miles. And I've always liked it. It's always been perfect for me. Not too loud, maybe too loud for other people, right. but not too loud for me. And uh, then when I put the cam in, and we're gonna put a video on this whole subject up in the corner here, I put the cam in, that exhaust <laughs> was just too loud yeah. for me. I loved the sound of it. We'll play a clip right here. the sound of it but hour after hour on the yeah, interstate it was just too loud so I bought some aftermarket slip-ons and uh, the tab ones and I'll put a link to those down below and uh, and I also got a baffle one and three quarter inch baffle which is very small baffle yeah. for yeah. me usually if yeah. I ever ran a baffle it was a two inch two and a half inch baffle but most of the time just no baffle but this cam made it hit so hard it yeah. just was so sharp <laughs> so I put that in and then I put a thunder torque insert in there with it Also asked about cats will the cat make a difference today's cats are so free-flowing they're not going to make a performance difference right either De positive or negative yeah depending on your ear you may be able to hear that it's just a tiny bit quieter with the uh, cat in there than with the cat out and a little bit deeper tone my ear can't hear it, but other people have told me that they could hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <clears throat> the other thing that was all through all the messages was, will it be loud enough? Will the tone be deep enough? Well, what's loud enough for one person mm -hmm. is too loud for another right. person. So, and, and what's a deep enough tone for one person is too deep of a tone for another. Like you run yours at a 45. Well, because when you have yours flat, 
it's too quiet for you? It, well, I like I like deceleration pop. I oh. like the pop. Oh, so, so you <laughs> wanted to hear some pop? Yeah, I like I like for it to pop. Uh, you know, a little bit of crackle, not to sound tinny or hollow like you know the gentleman described. Usually, mm -hmm. running a baffle exhaust does baffleless exhaust does. I just like a little more. So crack. when you had your TTI flat, like is the bet for best performance mm -hmm. with most bikes. You were getting no D cell pop? I was getting no D cell pop, and it was a, a very deep, throaty tone, which I'm okay with. But I was you, wanted, you wanted that gurgle right. popping on, on the D cell. Right. So that's another benefit of the TTIs right. is, is that you can tune the sound. Um, but then he was talking about, you know, should he get aftermarket? Should he get baffles? Will, how will it sound? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, sound is different to every single yeah. person. Yeah, right. So we made a whole video on how to get exhaust right the first time that we'll put up in the corner here. Mm -hmm. How to get exhaust right the first time so that you're not spending 500 or 1000 or $1,500 on an exhaust system and then either spending another thousand or fifteen hundred or if it's not in your budget to spend that second right. batch then just having to settle so it's better to really look at that video that we put up in the corner and take some time because the ex exhaust sound on the bike is a big part of why a lot of people have harley oh yeah yeah like myself i'm i'm not a harley guy i'm a motorcycle guy so, I mean, if I want a bike that's loud and, and just the, the sound just hits really hard, I like a Harley Davidson. If I want a bike that's quiet and not just, uh, you know, a brace you get thing, a Goldwing? Uh, no, I wouldn't get a Goldwing, uh -huh. but there's other, other bikes I would uh -huh. choose to ride. And so, with that being said, there's something to be said about the factory exhaust on these bikes. So, say what you want about Harley, but they're fit and finished almost second to none. The chrome plating on the Harley exhaust, really good. It's not likely to discolor like a lot of, you know, aftermarket exhaust options out there with heat and uh, they don't rust out on you. They're very thick wall material, very well made. So they resonate that exhaust gas well, they resonate that sound very well. And most times I'm, I'm on the same page as Kevin. Some of my favorite sounds from any bike have come from factory exhaust gutted with the TTIs in there. Now, obviously on a soft tail or a Dyna or a Sportster, you have the look of the factory exhaust. So that's the downfall. But I remember when I got my M8 soft tail, it didn't have 30 miles on it before we were cutting the baffles out of it and putting the TTIs in there. Yeah, and we'll put a, we have a video that we did. We'll put a link of that down below. So we're also going to put a clip right here of a Sportster with factory exhaust, mm -hmm. with the baffles out. It sounds like a shovel or a pan. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, 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 it certainly, it has the most old school sound mm -hmm. that I've heard on a modern Hurley. Yeah. And it's just the baffles cut out and the TTI's in there and you can take a listen to it right here. <laughs> Right, and here's one on a bagger on an M8 Road Glide, and you know, like I said earlier, looks. You know, you get the look of a factory exhaust. We can't really see it on a bagger or a trike, so it's all pros in my opinion with the fact with a uh, with the bagger with the factory exhaust. of all it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going out here and buying different exhausts trying different things out so say you know you run a factory exhaust you want to see what louder feels like cut those baffles out drill those baffles out replace them with the TTIs and if you like the sound great you yeah. know that, that's you, a stepping just, stone towards you just brought exhaust. up a good point we have that video on how to get the right exhaust the first time mm -hmm. my suggestion is take your factory exhaust, drill the baffles out, get mm -hmm. the baffles out, put the TTIs in there, and then follow, because following what we put in the video could take months. 
to find the perfect sound, to find the perfect sound for the bike. And in the meantime, right. you have a good sound coming out of your baffles removed from your right. stock. Right, because what do you have to lose? It's a factory part, you know, take the, take the factory slip-ons off, take the factory handlebars off, factory air cleaner, melt it all into one pot, now you have a boat anchor because it's all those factory parts are good for, so you have nothing to lose. Just yeah. modify your factory exhaust. Yeah, do that and then you may like it and never want to change it, or if you do want to change it, at least you have a better sound while you're doing your research right. on what exhaust is the best exhaust for your ear right. and for right. performance. Because then at that point you can be like, I want it a little louder or I want it not so loud. But with the factory exhaust, everything is louder. So Dwayne, you started this video out that uh, this is a way to enhance mm -hmm. the Harley exhaust yep. without breaking the bank. Right. So I think that um, we've done a really good job of showing people how to do that and giving them references on how they can get a more expensive yeah. exhaust, but only one time, not, yeah. and get it right the first time. Right. Uh, if you find this video useful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. If you're not subscribed to our channel, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to it. Click that notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. That's right. Now, if you have any questions at all about fitting these Thunder Torque inserts to your particular exhaust, whether it be factory or aftermarket, shoot us an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. Now, if it's an aftermarket exhaust, if you include a photo looking into the exit, that'll help us help you. So, you know, that'll speed up the process, help us help you out a little, a little more adequately. But again, if you have any questions, shoot us an email, support at dkcustomproducts.com or give us a call 662-252-8828. We have an entire customer service team ready to help you out. You all right, safe.